Hi everyone! I am back with an update to my Project Polish that I started at the beginning of this year. I know that I've been pretty sporadic in filming this year so far, but we adopted a baby in April and I just... he is my whole world um, and he's still not sleeping through the night, so forgive me for kind of popping on and filming something and then going for weeks or a month in between filming, but I am here with a lot of um, what I think is pretty exciting progress on my Project Polish. So as you can see, I have finished several nail polishes since my last update. So that brings my total to seven for this year so far. and. A lot of those were minis, um, so just starting, I guess, with one of the newest ones that I completed. It's this right here from China Glaze. This was Flip Flop Fantasy, and when I added it into the project, it was not full. It was down to this line, and now it's completely gone. I loved this on my toes. Pretty hard to use because it's a matte finish, and if you're familiar with matte nail polish, if you don't do it right, it looks kind of clumpy and bizarre on the nail. So, and I'm not a professional by any means. So, um, I didn't really care for it on my fingernails, but I loved it on my toes. Um, and there was a period where I didn't like it, and then I did again. Um, also, it's National Coffee Day, which is one of the most important holidays in the Fornelli household. Next, I have finished up this purple one from OPI. It is so dark, it looks almost black, um, and it, when I last updated you, I was to this line, and these little polishes, they don't have a lot of nail polish in them, so it's no surprise that I finished this up, but I also got help from relatives because I had family visiting several times in the last couple of weeks, and so I was painting my mom's nails, my sister's nails, my sister-in-law's nails, so these, I mean, I, I used them, but also they got all used up because I was kind of sharing them around. So the last one that I finished for this um, update is this taupe one from OPI. It's a mini as well, and it looked like this. So that one is completely gone. So of my wheel, I finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one is from Trust Fund Beauty. It is elegantly wasted. And at my last update, I was at this line and now I'm at the bottom line so you can see I've made a lot of progress and I really like it it's beautiful but for me it's more of a winter color so I haven't really been reaching for it uh, it's like a, a muted or a grayed out purple which I really love in winter especially but not so much in fall and then the next one is what I'm wearing on my nails right now which I mean, it's September. These are September nails. This is from Ciate. It is called Dangerous Affair, and this is one that I really did not use this one a lot up to this point in the year. Um, when I started, I was at the top, then one of my last updates I was here, but I basically haven't touched it since, I don't know, maybe March. And then since fall weather hit early September, I've been using the heck out of this one and I love it. Um, particularly on short nails, I just like how it looks. See, I, I don't know. It's just not a long nail color for me. Um, I think it looks really chic and really put together on short nails. Mine is chipping now because I've had it on for a couple days, but um, it's one of those dark oxblood colors that everybody loves in the, in the fall, so absolutely love it. And then the next one I have on the color wheel is this orange glitter, which even though it's fall, I didn't really use it at all. Um, this was where I was at the last update, I believe. I still have almost this whole full bottle left, and I thought I would use it way more than I have, but I just don't like glitter nail polish. I hate taking it off. I've tried the peel off base coats. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's beautiful. I love how glitter nail polish looks. Obviously I'm a fan of glitter, uh, but I just hate taking it off. So 
I don't know. I'll keep trying to use it, I guess. If you have any extra tips for me for getting nail polish off easily, especially glitter nails, um, please let me know in the comments because as beautiful as this is, I just hate taking it off. This one on the color wheel that I still have, unfortunately, is this summery mint green. It is from Ulta, Ulta Beauty. And as you can see, I made a, just a valiant effort trying to get this done. So at my last update, I was here and now I'm here. So I'm almost done. And I still couldn't get it done before I decided to do this update. So I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm using it mainly on my toes, even though, I mean, I guess today it would have matched my outfit, but whatever. Um, it's just not a fall color for me. I'm out of the whole bright, fun, I'm out of the brights. I'm into the dark fall colors now. So this one is basically just a designated toe color for me until it gets done. If I weren't doing Project Polish, by the way, I would have set this aside weeks ago and not touched it again until the next summer. But since I am, I will try to get this used up before the end of the year. The bottle kind of goes up. I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of goes up here. So I don't actually know that there's all that much of this left, but I don't know. I guess I'll keep using it on my toes until it's gone. And the last one I have is this bright pink. And I used it in conjunction with this one a couple times, um, which looked really pretty. But as you can see, I made some progress, but not very far. And so at the start, I was up here, it was a brand new full bottle, and now I'm at this line here. See, I just don't see myself using it. I have so many other beautiful fall colors that I want to use on my nails that I'm just not going to be reaching for this too much. So this is mainly just a toe color. We'll see how far I can get with it. And I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell. You probably won't. But I decided to add another one in, and it is this pink tinted... I don't know. I don't know if you can tell. Um, you're not supposed to be able to tell. It's one of these Julep Oxygen nail treatments in this very, very sheer pink color. It is called literally sheer pink. Of course it is. You're only supposed to put one coat on at a time, so this is actually going down very slowly, um, and I have been using it in between some of my manicures to just give my nails kind of a breath of fresh air without covering them in polish. This is supposed to help them breathe a little bit better. I don't know, that could be just a gimmick, but I feel like when I'm wearing it, at least my nails are still a little bit strengthened. And so I kind of want to try to use this up, um, but I probably won't be able to because you only need one coat at a time. And even though it's only eight mils, it's still a full bottle of nail polish if you consider the fact that you're only doing one coat at a time on your nails. Um, so I added it in just now, offs, um, because sometimes when I do project polish, I feel like my nails get a little bit brittle and a little weaker from having to repaint them and use nail polish remover on them and stuff. It's a treatment rather than like a color. And it'll be difficult because I also use my Perfect Formula Pink Gel Coat like every time I paint my nails. So if I'm going to reach for a treatment, it's usually going to be that one, which is why putting this in is actually going to help me use up something that I probably wouldn't be using otherwise. <sighs> Got a long road ahead and only three months to do it in. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.